Today we'll discuss about our factoring of receivables. We sell the goods here to our customers. Say 100,000 value of goods are sold to customers for two months credit. We are in the need of money. So what we do is we sell this amount to someone else. Say ABC factoring company. The ABC factoring company is a professional company in collecting the debts. So we sell goods to our customer and we sell receivables to a factoring company. A factoring company is called a factor. Factoring company is called as factor. Factor buys receivable from us and on the due date, he will collect from our customer. Okay, he pays you cash immediately. Out of 100,000, there will be an agreement between our company and the factor saying that we pay 95% or 93% of this amount. He pays you 93%, 93% of 100,000. That is $93,000. The remaining $7,000 is a profit to ABC company. On the due date, ABC company will collect money from our customers. We know we are concerned with the customer. We sell goods, happy, we collect money. So what happens is you know, a factor, a factor approves the credit and makes us payment. Then on the due date, on the due date, he will sell it to, he will collect it from our customer. Okay, so concept of uh, this factoring of receivables is, as we discussed, that we need money to, there is a, you know, uh, uh, we are not strong in collection or there is a strong provision that at the time of, you know, uh, taking the com a loan from a bank, we said that our receivables are not more than 30 days, not more than 45 days. So we need to maintain that credit period, okay, with the accounts receivable. So that is the reason why we sell our receivables. Selling of receivables, as we discussed, is called as, you know, factoring. When we sell the goods, to our customers we sell on credit but when we sell the you know receivables to a factor factor we have two conditions here one sale without recourse sale of receivables without recourse without recourse means this is our company our company is selling the goods to our customer our own company you are the owner you sold goods to accounts receivable your customer for hundred thousand and sold this receivable to a factor ABC so we are selling in outright that say for example hundred thousand worth of you know receivables are sold to ABC company for 95,000 outright. So in this case, ABC will pay you, will pay our company a $95,000 and will collect from our customer 100,000. And we ask our factor to sign an agreement called without recourse. Without recourse means if our customer doesn't pay the factor factor doesn't have right to ask our money uh, this money back when our customer doesn't pay the money to ABC company ABC company will lose by hook or crook they should collect from our customers but they cannot come back saying that your customer is not paying it is a loss to them that is what, you know, while entering into contract, we should say that it is without recourse. When you say and agree for without recourse, the ABC company doesn't have right to ask for us anything. You collect or do not collect. We don't, we don't bear the risk. The factor, factor will receive, will bear the risk. Whereas a 
sale with recourse means same scenario say we are selling it for a 98000 with recourse with recourse means on the due date abc will present the document to our customer saying this amount need to be paid collected fine collected fine no issues not collected abc company will come to our company asking this 98000 to be paid and they will give you original documents back then you'll have to collect from your customers collect or not that is up to you that is called with recourse with recourse without recourse clear so in the case of without recourse our company will not get any risk back but in the case of with recourse if our customer is not paying the factor we'll have to bear it okay so here uh, we even may uh, borrow money by uh, discounting our receivable invoices with any companies factoring companies okay so we go to any bank saying that i have this much receivables so please uh, fund my business so what they do is say for example if 100000 is the invoice amount and due date is next 3 months 100000 okay so they may finance 80% of this same like housing loan you know 80% of this how much they are financing 80000 okay and they ask for all receivables to be kept with the bank then they charge you say for example 1500 for processing charges loan processing charges they may charge interest on this for the three months at the rate of say nine percent or ten percent etc interest would also be deducted say three thousand two hundred i'm just giving the guessing figures so say eighty thousand minus one thousand five hundred minus three thousand two hundred will be paid to you today after three months this amount will be presented to our customer if the customer pays the banker if the customer pays the banker the banker will give you the remaining 20000 here because if they gave you only finance of 20000 right 80000 right so you will get 20000 back if your customer is not paying this 80000 has to be paid back 80000 has to be paid back to a customer or, or, or banker sorry or banker okay this is about factoring i give you an example here 120000 is a total of receivables our factor is agreeing for 80% of the receivables take your calculator out of 80000 we are going to get 80% not only that um, receives an annual charge of 14% and 1.5% fee for the total amount received so here it's a per month receivable so year long we take the amount 120000 80 percent 96000 you will get 96000 plus this amount would be deducted 1.5% 1 1.5% 1 of 120000 that is 1800 plus interest interest is 14% of 120000 14% of 120000 into 1 by 12 because it's a monthly rent monthly amount so 1800 plus 1120 should be deducted from 96000 96000 is 80% of 120000 this is called as cost of borrowing cost of borrowing the proceeds what you are going to receive is 120000 times 80 percent that is 96000 96000 minus 2920 will be paid to you so let's see the amount how much you receive 96000 minus 2920 that is 120000 times 80 percent minus 2920 